What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, Jason the X back with another review. And today I'm taking a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Ferret and Cobra Ferret Driver, the 119th release in the G.I. Joe Classified line. And it's uh, pretty good, I, I, I gotta say I like the vehicle. Uh, there are plenty of vehicles in this kind of size to make for the G.I. Joe Classified line. I know they've been kind of hitting it with things like the vamp, and you know, the Ram cycle, the trouble level, there's plenty of vehicles to make in this scale. And I gotta say, I like this one. The Cobra Ferret driver is basically kind of a repaint uh, with a little bit of extra armor of the Cobra Valkyries. And we'll be taking a look at those more. But I do like this vehicle. It, it's got a lot of things. I mean, if you were critical of the Ram cycle, you're probably gonna be critical of this. But um, I can see if these get marked down, I might have to go get a second one. So. I do like it that much. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. So getting the goods out of the way, you have this uh, very nice box here. This is measuring in at about uh, 14 inches long, about, uh, about almost nine inches high. So it's got some shelf space um, it's gonna take up. I'm not sure uh, if this was going to be a general release or was it just being put out through Hasbro Pulse. So anyway. Uh, the top you got the Cobra logo, 119th logo. I like the window boxing. We saw a return to that with the vamp, of course. Uh, nice artwork, ferret driver on the side. You have the ferret driver while their helmet on, gun, knife, looks pretty good. On the side, you got the stats, uh, more of that artwork. And on the back, you have the figure, of course, her helmet, knife, two pistols, the ferret itself, a little bit more of the detailing. Yeah, this is a pretty cool release. And a good reuse of the Valkyrie mold. So first, let's take a look at the figure. Um, this is, like I said, basically the Valkyrie figure. Move the camera a little bit closer. And, oop, and like totally get off camera. So as you can see, she is on that same book. I can bring her, bring uh, one of her Valkyries in. And you can see the faces are exactly the same. You got the mask. Of course, there's just different painting on the figure. She does have this extra armor piece, which does look good for like some uh, off-roading uh, armor here. If you're in like motocross and stuff like that. They did repeat pretty much everything else, uh, even the armband, which kind of slips down. Uh, she's got the leg holster. But I do like these colors and I do appreciate that they gave her just a little bit something more to stand out. This is something we've, it's no surprise in G.I. Joe. The armor does make her stand out a little bit more. I'm trying to get her ball joint, which is very stiff to cooperate. Uh, same leg holster, same pistols. The only thing is she has a uh, boot sheath for her knife right on the side. I do believe that is like the same knife that came with the Valkyries too. And I'm not complaining about reuse, it, it happens, because that's what G.I. Joe is based off of. They're gonna reuse more to give us more variations on figures, and honestly, I don't think we had a female ferret driver, so this is, this is new ground. Uh, she is a little wobbly, as you can see. The neck, the waist, at the bottom, very wiggly, but you know, the Valkyries were kind of the same way, so. What can you expect? It's the same mold. I do find this goes down quite a bit. Like there is no tension on this part, uh, the bottom part of the leg holster. And it kind of bothers me. I can just move this up, maybe just move it up a little bit more. That would kind of help. Uh, but I do have been moving this figure around a bit. See, that, that looks a little bit better, but still not a lot of tension on the bottom. I have been moving this figure around a lot and putting her on the uh, ferret and everything, so that's possibly something that contributes to it. But otherwise, uh, pretty good. Uh, let's see, she does have, um, we are gonna show off all of the accessories that the figure comes with, and then we'll outfit her as soon as I get this out of here. So the first new piece, though, is the helmet. And very nice motocross helmet. You got the fang design up there. That almost looks like bone with the color they chose to use there. Nice little fangs. I like how this looks. Good coloration. This looks like an ATV helmet. Um, I kind of wish that she had come with like maybe some goggles. That would have kind of 
you know, kind of set the figure off. I think, you know, maybe between all the characters we have, I can probably find a set to put on her. Also, if I get two of these, I do kind of want them to be differentiated a little bit. But that helmet just slides right on the figure. It's very soft plastic. So you just slip it on. I'm just going to leave it on for the rest of this review. We've seen what the head looks like, but it lines up very well. Like, I'm really digging this. And look at all that room in the helmet. You definitely have some for uh, a set of goggles. Focusing on that armor. Got a nice cobra symbol there. A lot of black, blue, and white, and red. And she does have two of the pistols that we saw come with the Valkyries. Just a little small, like, kind of, maybe like Sig Sauer pistols. Just kind of small, perfect for someone that's moving around or on something and they need maybe a smaller pistol. And of course, just the basic kind of combat knife. Not too shabby. No paint on the knife. Uh, you can just put that in the boot holster. And she does have, like I said, the leg holster. And she's got that backwards one that we saw with the Valkyrie web gear. And that gun slips in there. Uh, Posability with the figure, they do have a peg going into the foot on a hinge joint, so that can go up and down about that far, spins around the ball joint. You do have some calf articulation, 360 degrees, nice pinless design on the legs and arms, of course that was with the Valkyrie. You get double jointed knees out of this, that goes pretty far. You've even got some to spare in there, but the pants do kind of get in the way, so you have to kind of get that down. Oh, you can actually get it better that way. 360 degree joint at the thigh. It's a little seized up. Uh, drop down hip joints, go up and down there. Goes forward about that much, back about that much. You do have the classic kind of diaper that they put on the figures. Uh, you can get, uh, let's see, come on, are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Eh. Not full Van Damnation, but hey, you know, it gets there. You got a uh, ball joint in the lower torso that can go 360 degrees and give you some more articulation to the left and right. You have another one up in the torso, also giving you more of that ball jointy goodness. Very, very poseable figure. The um, shoulders are on a butterfly joint, as you can see there. Very good for if you want to grip the handlebars of a ATV. A joint in the shoulder with the pin going in to the uh, chest, which will go 360 degrees on that and goes out about that far as I showed you. Ooh, I peeled off a little bit of plastic. So just make sure that you're getting that in there. It's a little bit hindered. 360 degree on the bicep, double jointed elbows, pinless, very nice. Uh, the wrist pegs are, so this is the only hand she comes with. Uh, got the typical trigger hands, but it's good for an ATV because she can grab the, the brake or clutch, whatever. And the uh, hinges on the hands are hinged vertically. Head is on a ball joint at the top and bottom. So you can go back and forth very well on the top one. On the bottom one, not so much. It's, it's there but you're not gonna get a lot out of it if you've noticed here. But it does help, it does make her sit on the ATV a little bit better. So good posability, just like I said, a little bit, a little bit wobbly. Wobble, wobble with it, anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take a look at the Ferret itself. Very, very nice vehicle. Uh, this is definitely, uh, we've already seen before this was released. We already saw it was getting re-released as a Joe uh, vehicle. Which, that's the way it goes, guys. We, we know that the vamp is going to be the stinger. That's the way things go. But check it out. You've got a nice little bumper on the front. It's got a, a fake winch. The winch is not real. The hook is not real. But all this comes off, of course, so you can put different things on there. The instructions do tell you. I say that because, I mean, they're going to reissue this and probably put something on the front. I forget what the one with wreckage looks like. Uh, one thing it does have springy suspension joints. Not sure why that is clicking, but uh, you got a little gun on the front, capable of 360 degrees of rotation, except for the steering column gets in the way. And it can go down, it can go up, 
very nice. You have some missiles on the side. Uh, this was two different pieces. So once again, giving us those options for customization. It just pegs right in there. As you can see, I can't get mine pegged all the way in. There is some clearance there, which I'm not even, I'm not even trying to get in there that much, just so it stays sturdy. And you do have uh, some missiles. Looks like they can go forward and back. I don't know the mechanics of how this would work. Uh, maybe it just launches off of here, but you know, you, you can't have a cat dog missile here. That's, that's kind of what this looks like. I don't know GI Joe, um, but it does peg on and off with just the two pegs. Same thing with this side. There is some clearance there and these come off. They are specific to which side they go on. You should put this detail on the top when you're assembling yours. But yeah, I want to try to push those all the way in, but I, I, I'm just not gonna. I like they got the diamond plate here on the, uh, the footrests. You have like the luggage rack or whatever else you're gonna put on there. And you have this really nice gun here uh, that can go up and down. It's just on a C-clip that's clipped onto the uh, bars. And this can pop off right off of the peg and our, our ferret driver can go ahead and just roadblock this thing, which I think is really cool. Uh, I meant to get a picture of this. Uh, I was gonna add it to my uh, to my pictures I take at the end and some on the website, Super Cool Nerd Show, if you ever wanna go over there and check that out. But yeah, she can hold the gun very, very nicely. You know, in case you need to go shoot down uh, a helicopter, your vehicle becomes uh, incapacitated, you can always just take the gun off of there. So very cool vehicle, I like this. Just as a little simple kind of ATV. On the back, you've got some pipes, you got some paint for where lights would go. Um, who's even have holes in there? I wonder if it's like blast compatible. Um, I don't have anything over here. The no step, I like the Cobra design right in there. And you do have the missile lot information. Uh, you know, that might help. Let's see, before operating this vehicle's advanced weapon system, be sure to pledge loyalty to Cobra. Refer to heads up display for launching instructions. I just read that, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't read that before. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the steering column will turn again, and you do have a little bit of detail on the steering column. I'm trying to get that in there, a little bit of a tampo in there. Come on. Just like a little radar thing, something on the side. Nothing really telling on there. It just looks cool. And, of course, you got another tampo. Semper Fidelis Sir Pins on the uh, logo right here, ATV. And don't step on these. They're usually just plastic pieces when you're on an ATV. But otherwise, this thing... Also, this thing rolls. Oop, I hit the camera. Like a champ, listen to that. I, 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 I do dig how it sounds in the photo booth. At this point, I'm just a kid having fun. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get her on the ATV and see how she looks. And there's our fair driver sitting on the vehicle. Looks very cool, uh, rolls still. Rolls very well. I like the positioning on here. This just looks really cool. Uh, doing a little bit of comparison and pulling my camera out of the way while I do this because that was that was cool. I could edit that out, but you know what? I'm not going to. So that's how it looks next to the Trouble Bubble. Really cool vehicles in this scale. Oh, <laughs> I guess the Trouble Bubble wanted to leave some trouble behind. Left a mine there. That's not cool. It's not cool at all. Uh, kind of an equivalent. We have the Ram cycle with chuckles up there. Very good sizing on these. I like, I like how this is going. Of course, we saw a uh, clutch burying a ferret helmet uh, in the ground. <laughs> so I just thought it'd be great to uh, put these together. Everyone keeps saying the vamp is small, but the ferret cycle is supposed to be like a little fast attack vehicle. So it's not supposed to be like super gigantic. It's a two-seater. I think the scale works out. Let me go ahead and get that out of the way. Oh, there's a hair on there. And the uh, final one, I was going to get some Pintors thrown out, but eh, it's packed away because I just didn't have a place to put it. But um, just as a final comparison, just taking up all of my photo booth. There it is next to the His Tank. And I do like when we get vehicles. I can't wait to get the uh, Dragonfly because that is just gonna be a chore to um, manage and uh, get a review done in my little photo booth here because the His Tank was 
uh, pretty daunting. But anyway, let's take a closer look at the character. All right, so we have just a final comparison, the Ferret Driver with the Cobra Valkyrie and the classified Scarlet Retro. She comes in at right at six inches tall with that new helmet on. And yeah, so there you go. So final thoughts, I do like the Ferret. I like 112 scale vehicles as they are so rare. Uh, classified is finding a very good ground with these with including some because collectors do want vehicles. G.I. Joe is known for its vehicles and its characters. They go hand in hand. But then to add the ferret and then add a new twist on it with a new character, you know, sort of, kind of, we got the Valkyries. And this is cool. I like this and can't wait for the eventual repaint. And like I said, if I happen to be going through Target and see these marked down, like I saw the Ram cycle, I might have to pick up a second one. Anyway, guys, I am Jason the X. I hope you liked the review. Please subscribe to the channel. Check out some other things that we're doing. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.